Hello children, welcome to EVS class. So in the previous class, we were learning about lesson number three, various types of animals. Yes, we have seen different kinds of animals and we have also studied about how we can identify animals based on their ears and skin. Have you recalled children? Yes, just see this. Okay. And we have also studied about animals with external ears and animals without external ears. We have seen the differences, right? So if the animals which are having external ears, they are viviparous, that is they can give directly birth to the young ones. And also we have seen some hair on their body. And if you see viviparous, they lay eggs. And when the egg hatches, the young ones comes out. And we have also seen that the hair is, they don't have hair. The body is covered with feathers, okay? And for and some animals, fish. And for few animals, uh, scales. See, if you see fish, the skin is covered with scales. And now if you see snakes also, you can see the, yes, these are scales. Have you seen recognized children? Yes, these are also Oviparous. See, they are having scales on their body. This fish has scales on their body. Okay. So, can you see any ears here, external ears? No. External ears are not there, but they have small holes which are covered by their fins. Okay, children. So, here many animals they have given. All these we have studied in our previous class. Okay. Have you completed this table? Try to write, children. Don't make it empty. Okay. Now, animals without external ears. See them, some birds here. Some examples are given. All this we have dis discussed, right? Can you recall the topics once again? Yes, once again, recall all the topics, children. Yes, different animals have different kinds of ears. We can see the ears of some animals. But some animals, we cannot see the ears. Right? Yes. Now, see here. These are all viviparous or oviparous children? Yes, they are oviparous. They can lay the eggs. Okay? So, they are having, see, these are scales. Some scales are present on this snake. And feathers, their bodies are covered with feathers. Can you see any external ear, ears here? No, no external ears. So, these are the common features for all these animals. So, have you recognized all these animals? Yes, with the help of skin, we can identify the which type of animal it is. Yes, see these arrow marks. Yes, cheetah, tiger, zebra, yes, deer, squirrel. See the patterns of the skin. These patterns are due to hairs on their body. Yes. So, in the just before this class, we have studied about voviparous and viviparous. Vova. Vova means what children? Egg. So egg laying animals we will call it as oviparous animals. Viviparous, the animals which can give direct birth to the babies. We will call it as viviparous animals. Now see this oviparous animals and also viviparous animals. See these are viviparous animals that can give babies direct birth to the babies. Now, if you see oviparous, they lay eggs. When the eggs hatch, the egg once comes out. So, we have seen about mammals. We have seen about mammals. Right? So, all mammals are viviparous. All animals are viviparous. Okay? And they give milk to the egg ones. We will call it as mammals. So, they are giving milk, they are feeding milk to their egg ones. We will call it as mammals. Right, children? So, once again, see this box, ears can, can be seen. So, whenever the ears can be seen, that animals will have hair. So, the animals without ears, we can see feathers on their body and few, for few animals, we will see scales. Okay? Yes, children, now let us see this video. So, animals are born. So, animals are born, children, right? 
so some are born directly from the mother's womb and some animals through eggs they will give birth to the babies okay now see this bird see the eggs yes so they are voviparous animals okay children see fish bird butterfly snakes all those are voviparous now see here viviparous animals these are dog now human beings they will also give birth to egg ones so we are the best example for viviparous okay now human beings are viviparous animals yes now cat dog sheep goat horse all those are viviparous now see this hen this is a voviparous right children yes now see here collect the information observe your pet animals and that of your friend so go near the animals and observe whether it has hair on its body so if you see or if you visit a zoo observe the animals children have you ever visited zoo yes whenever you have visited zoo once again carefully observe the animals from distance okay so that some animals have yes hair on their body and some animals have scales or feathers on their body so just observe okay children now you can you should also observe the animals ears of the animals and which give birth to the egg ones yes now this is a small activity just you can do already we have seen many uh, videos and also different pictures right children just recall all those topics so for today one more important topic we are going to discuss about uses of animals the hair and skin of animals the hair and skin of animals protect from cold and heat all these facts we know right children so the hair and also skin of animals protects them from cold and heat so we also use hair or hair and skin of animals right children for many purposes we are using okay now look at this sheep yes by seeing itself you can identify that it gives us wool right children yes now see here the skin of animals is also useful to us how the skin is used the skin is used to make footwear musical instruments like drums etc so all these facts we know if you see some leather bags if you see your in your house you can find different kinds of leather bags right and also belt if you see the belt that is also made up of leather which is the animal skin now woolen clothes are made up of animal hair so in winter winter season mainly we will use this woolen clothes right so there is nothing but they came from the animal hair so not only for this purpose animals also used to have a food so they give us food so they also use in agricultural works and also transportation of goods so animals are useful in many ways children right now if you see in agricultural works also we can see animals are helping us and in olden days mainly for the transportation of goods we were using different kinds of animals from one place to the another place to travel from one place to the another place right in deserts now also we are using what children camel okay and so many uses are there of these animals now check one uh, video i will show children before that video just to see this so which animal gives us food and which animals gives us food children yes hen goat fish prawns and different animals gives us food and now if you see which animals are useful for farming yes now if you see bull ox and also cows are also useful they are giving us milk and also they are useful in different works in agricultural works they are giving organic manure also okay and what are the other animals other uses of animals children tell me what are the other uses of animals yes they are also useful for transportation for agricultural works for food purpose and also for making clothes and for making different things like footwear yes musical drums and all these purposes okay now i will show one more uh, video let us see this and let us learn something from it
Yes, children. I'll show one more thing. Yes, discuss. See, discuss with your friends and write down the names of animals and their uses. So everyone should learn this, children. And now you have to list out the things and you have to write. Okay. So animals that gives us food and animals that are used in farming and animals used for other purposes. Let us see this and you have to write. Just you have to learn and you have to write children. Okay. So whatever we have seen till now, you have to discuss and also you have to write in the table. So tomorrow I will show that video about the uses of animals. Okay, children. So now once again, read the textbook and watch the video carefully in the next class. Till then, take care, children. Thank you.